Okay, welcome back. Uh, this one we're going to be showing you guys with this continued series on how to get your project to resolve. Actually, one more final thing uh, for Premiere preparation here before we export out that uh, XML file here is I'm going to uh, I'm going to flatten a sound mix here to simplify things inside of Resolve. So I'm going to and, and if you're going to maintain if you've been doing a high quality sound mix and you want to maintain frequencies, this Premiere Pro by default when you put it, do a new timeline, the the timeline settings are at 48k. If you want to if you say you shot your uh, audio in for 96k uh, um, and a higher bit depth and you want to maintain that, you can go to your timeline preferences and change that. Uh, so it's so it is keep maintaining that it's not bringing down the down to a smaller uh, quality here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my edit here, the main edit, and I'm going to go to sequence settings and I'm going to change this to 96. This was uh, recorded at 96 hertz, the audio, the onset audio. Uh, so we want to change that to 96,000 hertz there. I'm going to hit OK. That's ready to go. It'll maintain that now. It just makes it edit a little bit slower when you're editing. So if, if you want to keep it at 48 for editing and then change it before you exp uh, export out your sound mix, do so. Actually, I'm going to do that to my 4K one because I added the black video. So let's do that again. Let's show you the process here. So the 4K video, this is one we're going to export. I'm going to go to sequence settings change this to 96,000 hertz, hit OK. Now it's the quality that it was recorded in. Uh, go back to my timeline here, and we're going to hit Control m to export. And I'm going to just go to Audio and Uncheck Video, and we're going to change QuickTime to WAV file. We want to do this to WAV file to maintain all that hertz. We're going to export this out to... And we're going to go down to our basic audio settings here. You won't find this under preset. So we're going to go down here under four. And we're going to do sample size. This was shot in 24-bit. Uh, so I'm going to maintain it at 24-bit. And we're going to take this to 96,000 hertz. So the same quality that we recorded the audio in to maintain that level. So I'm going to go to output name. So this will be my final sound mix. I'm going to go to output name here. And I'm going to I'll put it in effect so we can find it easily. And I will just call that uh, final for result. Let's call this final sound mix. Sound mix, export that out, hit export, let it, let it export out my audio. All right, now that that's exported out, I'm going to uh, tilt it over my timeline here and look at my audio, bring my, my audio here. Actually, we could even get rid of these video tracks I'm not using, so delete track, get this all cleaned up, delete track, uh, and now I'm going to lock my video, hit control A, and delete all my audio in my timeline. Keep in mind, this is not my original audio. If I need to fix some sound mixing, and go there. But in my 4K edit for Resolve here, I can import my audio now. Or effects, there's my WAV file. Drag this and just drop it here at the very beginning. And I have a full-on, just regular sound mix ready to go. And this is now officially prepared, all prepped for Resolve. In fact, if I wanted to, I could get rid of, uh, let's delete our audio tracks as well, just to keep this all cleaned up. Delete tracks, and we're going to delete all empty tracks on audio. There we go. And everything is perfectly cleaned up. This is ready to go. Uh, everything's set. Uh, we've shown you how to prep this in the previous episode. In this episode, we're going to go to our timeline. I'll prep for Resolve. We're going to go to File, and we're going to export this out. This is the universal uh, edit document we're going to be sending to DaVinci Resolve is a, if you go to File, Export, and Final Cut Pro XML. So we're going to go up to File, Export, to Final Cut Pro XML, and I'll bring this up, and I'm just going to put it right in my production folder here, and we'll just keep the timeline 4K edit final for Resolve. Hit Save. It'll export our, our XML file. That's the universal document for, for, for uh, reading the edit that's been done in our timeline here. So now we can close Premiere, save out of there. And we're going to open up Resolve. I'm working out of Resolve 15 because 16 at the time I'm recording this is still in beta. Uh, the beta is available for public release, but I kind of like to work on the full regular versions. They have less bugs uh, than the beta. That's why they call them betas and they're not complete yet. But I'm going to right click on my untitled project here and I'm going to go to project settings. Under project settings, I want my 2K, I want to uh, do my finalized uh, delivery to 2K. So I'm going to ignore the 4K. In fact, you could do, what, what I want to do, though, is I want to do a 1.85 or 1.89 to, uh, to 1 aspect ratio, uh, which is pretty typical, unless you go on up to the scope view here. Uh, but uh, there's very few theaters that project in, in 4K right now. So the delivery method is going to be to 2K, unless you're going something bigger. But right now, um, as, as it stands right now, most theaters, pretty much all theaters, are in uh, projecting 2K. 
So I'm going to go to, I want to do the 2048 by 1080 DCI. The more common one is probably that is used is the flat for regular theaters, which is a little bit less aspect ratio. It's not as quite as wide, but it's very, very almost insignificant. I like the, the true 2K one here, and you have to check with the theaters, make sure they support that. Uh, most of them do, but, uh, but the flat is more common. But right now I've got uh, the true 2K 2048 by 1080. If we go to our calculator, look at our aspect ratio, 2048 divided by 1080, that is 1.89 to 1. So it's a little bit wider than the flat. Uh, and 24 frames per second, so that's good as well. Going to save this. Uh, then I'm going to right click on my untitled and we're going to save it as, I'm going to call this uh, a taste for something color. Save that. Double click on it. It will open it up. And we're ready to start bringing in our media. So I'm going to bring in all of our media first of all. I'm going to go to the media uh, window. I'm going to go to file and import. And we're going to import media. Control I also does this. Let's navigate to our production folder. And uh, I've got everything basically under high quality. Everything is under here. Everything that, that I need for my high quality one. So I'm going to uh, import that. And we're going to grab all these items here. And hit open. And it imports our media. But one thing it didn't bring in is, is my folders individually. So what we can do here is I'm going to undo that, and I'm just going to bring open my folder here. And I'm going to go into my high quality folder and just drag the whole thing in there. And that will recognize the folders, that will recognize everything. That's the easiest way to do it, is just bring open a browser window and drag everything into it. And it's not really organized. I don't care if it's organized right here, because I don't really need it organized, because the timeline's going to do that. You can, when you import, you can tell it, when you go over to your master, when you do import, you can tell it to keep, maintain the folder structure if you want to. But right now, I, I don't need to with a small of a project. If you're doing a feature, I'd probably recommend doing that. Uh, but I'm going to go to edit, and I'm going to import, go file, Import, and we're going to import a timeline, and we're going to do a, an a AAF EDL XML. Let's say XML. So we're going to import, and under our production folder, there is our XML. I'm going to select that, and it's going to ask some questions here. Uh, first of all, I do not want my project to automatically set the project settings. I did that myself. It's going to read the media, and if it does that, it'll, it'll boost up to 4K, and I don't want the 4K because this 4K is actually not the aspect ratio I want. We filmed it with the guides for 1.89 to 1, so I want to maintain my settings. Uh, we want to automatically import. Uh, we don't want to automatically import the source media in, into the clips. You can do that, and sometimes with, uh, it'll automatically bring it in and keep the project settings. I like the two steps in bringing in the media that I want specifically, and I'm not going to use sizing information either. So we're going to hit OK, and boom, everything is brought in. There's our stereo mix down here. It even brought in the markers from Premiere, which I really didn't need. Um, hit Shift-Z. Well, this is your Final Cut Pro 7 uh, shortcuts that it's using here. But as we play through... Okay. Our clips are restored. Our edit is here. Uh, it is a little laggy because it's uh, accessing the, because I am actually recording and it's accessing the 4K footage here as well. Uh, the high quality ProRes 444, but we're just doing the color grading in here. But my full edit is here. Control plus to zoom up. Let's look. Our credits are there. It's reading the alpha channel. Everything looks nice and clean. Our audio is there. We even have these little flash effects. Let's test to make sure our flash, the flash effects are there. It's got those. Everything's in there. Let's look at our black video. Our black video is there. Everything's there. Everything's set. Our credits are there, and everything worked just fine. All right, so what we're going to do next here is we're going to kind of prep this. We're going to go to color, get in the color mode here. And one thing that I want to do with my video here is I want to get my video so it's at the proper aspect ratio. Right now, you notice it is scaling our video uh, to, to fit into this window, this uh, this less wide, the 16 by 9 aspect ratio here to fit in this window. And I want it, and we shot it with guides, once again, guides on our window to get it uh, to the proper aspect ratio. Oftentimes, you'll have this issue if you're working with a RED camera, or Alexa camera, sometimes if you're not shooting in the proper format, you're shooting on the full frame uh, for multiple aspect ratios, then you might have this issue. So I'm going to go to the beginning here. We're going to go to our, our beginning clip, and I'm going to figure out how much I have to scale this to get it to the right to the right aspect ratio before we actually start color grading. Because uh, I want to make, I want to apply that to all my clips before I actually start color grading, and we can adjust some of those later on if we want. So in this first one here, let's go to uh, sizing. Right down here, this little last icon over to the right here, I'm going to click on sizing, and we're going to zoom this. Once again, this is, remember, 4K inside of a uh, 2K timeline, so it, it can zoom. So I'm going to zoom up and tell those black bars, kind of tell those uh, tell those pillar boxes, which they're called on the side instead of letter boxes, just barely fill in on the side right there. And it looks like 1.080, so I point up... We, we zoom up 0.080 to get that to fit in to this aspect ratio. So now that that's done, 
uh, what I can do is select the rest of the video, and I got to be careful not to select my uh, my my credits because my credits are formatted for that time for that proper timeline already, uh, and my black video are, is as well. So I'm going to select this first clip here, move on down the timeline, select here, and then I can hit Control and select these individual ones until I got everything selected but the credits. Just the stuff that was transferred from film is the stuff that needs to be formatted. All that selected now, I'm going to scroll back. I'm going to move my mouse over this one right here. I'm going to hit my middle click on my mouse. If you're working on a Mac and you have one of those weird Mac mice, it's not going to work. You need a middle click. So uh, I'm going to move my mouse over this and click the middle, the third button in the middle, and boom, everything is going to be uh, zoomed up now that I had selected. So now I can start with that. And if I need to reframe on some of these, I can individually. But right now, everything is zoomed up to that aspect ratio, and uh, so it's just the way I want it. So now we're pretty much, we're pretty well prepped for uh, starting to color grade. 